Go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to week six of Chalk Talk with your host, me, JB. I got a familiar foe, Coach Hunter, from the Jefferson High Cougars. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Coach. Great to have you on here again. We covered you last week, and let's just get right into last week's game. You guys took on the Marsburg Bulldogs, the number one team in the state, and you guys gave them a battle, probably the closest game that you've had with them in a quite some time. What can you take away from last week's performance? Um, just a lot of a lot of positives from that game. Um, the kids came out, they fought hard, they played a great first half. Um, you know, we were we were able to establish a running game, um, and then be able to use some of that play action and try to hit over top. Um, you know, I thought we did a lot of good things. I thought we held up. Up front, pretty good versus their uh, relentless pressure at times. Um, I thought those those were some positive defensively. I think we, I thought we got after it. We got some stops when we needed them in the first half. Able to uh, not let them hit us with a whole bunch of big plays. Uh, being able to run them down from the backside or run them down. So I thought we did a lot of good things in that game. I just wish we you know we had uh, we could finish the fight. We just couldn't finish. The fight. Well, Coach, a lot of people say, you know, around the area, around the state, that when they play against Martinsburg, that name kind of like pushes kids back. What was the halftime like in your locker room going into the halftime, knowing that you guys were so close and it was it was a territory that the kids have never been in before? Uh, you know, it's just the same, you know, same thing. Hey, you know, we got to we got to continue to try to play mistake free. We got to be on our assignments. We got to be technically sound. Uh, we can't make mistakes. If you want to win a game against a team like this. We cannot make mistakes, um, and we got. And once again, we got to finish the fight. Um, well, Coach, you got a quick. I'm, I'm sorry, you got a quick turnaround. You're playing Hedgesville, another EPAC team on the, uh, Thursday. Um, how has the week been in preparation, knowing that you're playing a week earlier than normal? Um, you know, playing earlier. Um, you know, it it, it kind of with your preparation, you got to kind of turn around quick, get the kids focused quick. Um, you don't have that extra day. Uh, so we spend a lot of time, usually what up would be our Monday, would be a little more of a walkthrough install. Uh, we had to amp that up a little bit. Uh, Tuesday, we had to keep it going. Today's a walkthrough, which would normally be another one of our prep days and getting getting after a little bit. So we had to, today, tone it back, go through it. It's all now more mentally, making sure the kids are mentally ready to go uh, with a day, with a short, short week going in, uh, just making sure. Sure, we know our assignments, not trying to do too much, um, keeping it simple in the game plan. I'm not trying to do too much because you have you, uh, you lost a day. Um, defensively, you start off your season, you know, a little shaky against Spring Mills, and then you guys have been improved each week. And like I said, you went into Marsburg game and you showed that you have a great defense that can contain anybody. Um, what has been the number one factor in you guys' improvement week in and week out to be where you are here in week six? I just keep plugging away at it. You know, the kids just keep wanting to get better and better. Um, we do have some veteran ball players, but there's a lot of youth uh, sprinkled in there. So the, the more game experience they're gaining, um, they're getting better and better each week. So I think that that's a testament of what's going on is that um, we have a lot of kids that don't have – some of them don't have a lot of varsity game experience. So is that game now – I feel like that game now is starting to slow down for them and it's coming to them now and they're understanding things a lot easier. Uh, so I think that's a testament to that. And plus, the kids just want to continue to work hard and get better. Uh, offensively, going into um, Thursday's night's game, um, what, what do you expect your offense to do that you have to pack with you to to execute on a on a high level um, Thursday night? Uh, you're going. I mean, you're, you're going on a short week. You're going on the road. Um, you got to Anytime you're going on the road, definitely on a short week. Uh, you got to make sure you travel with your running game. So we got to travel with our running game. So it's going to start with our running game. We got to be able to run the ball. Well, Coach, I know on the last year we talked a little bit, even going into the playoffs, how, you know, penalties have plagued you guys a little bit. Um, and penalties were big on both sides um, of, the, of the field last week. Um, have you talked to your team this week about things they can do to take away some of the self-inflicted wounds that you guys have been giving yourself um, here lately? I mean, that comes in the in the play of mistake-free football, you know, being technically sound, playing assignment football. If we if we play technically sound, then we're not going to get the penalties. Um sometimes you're gonna sometimes you're gonna accidentally maybe slip slip and grab a face mask, but you know, the, the dumb stuff, the the after after play penalties, uh, the personal fouls, you know, sometimes you gotta understand 
blocking the backs. Sometimes you got to know when the guy's getting away from you, just let him go. There's no need to hold him. Just oh, let him go. We'll take, the, we'll take the yardage. There's no getting around this. You guys had a gauntlet of a schedule at the beginning of the season. Um, at the end, it's kind of more favorable to you guys. Uh, were you guys? You said that. You said that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you played some pretty tough games the first four games. We knew that going in. Um, what are you telling your team, like, down the stretch, like, hey, let's – Let's get in position to get a good seating in the playoffs where you got some games that where you guys can really, you know, handle your opponent. But um, what are you telling them to be prepared for what's next to come? Um, we just take each game one game at a time. So we take each game one game at a time, one opponent at a time, regardless of what you what you think about this team from the past or whatever it was. It's a new year. It's a new season. We're going to take this one team at a time. We take no matter who our – opponents were are we need to take them seriously and and go after them um we played a, a heck of a first four games so you know with those first four games i feel like we're battle tested against any any kind of team that we're going to see um so you know just take everything at face value go out and play our type of football our game each week um and if we do the things that we that we know we're capable of doing hopefully we should come out with a victory well, Coach, we wish you nothing but the best of luck here at Home Team Sports. We'll be covering you guys tomorrow at Hedgesville High School at 7.30. Thursday night, not Friday. Um, Coach, we just wish you guys the best of luck. Be healthy. You know what I say on here? We hope, we hope that our kids succeed both on and off the field. Wish you guys the best of luck. Stay healthy and, you know, keep plugging forward. I'll be sure to see you here again sometime later on in the season. Thank you.